physical mathematics. So we're going to solve the bit of x. Now, we're having an x plus 3 square root x minus 1 is equal to 1. So first things first, we look for a problem. What is the problem with this equation? The first problem is this x right here. So we take this x right here to the other side of the equal sign. And we are going to be left on this side 3 square root x minus 1 equals to 1 minus x. Because the x here is positive, when it goes to the other side, it's going to change the sign. It's going to be negative. Now, we are having this one. Now, we look and find what is the next problem. This side of the equal sign and that side of the equal sign. We introduce square, we introduce brackets on both sides of the equation. So, if we introduce brackets here on this 3x, we just introduce brackets squared, squared brackets on both sides. Now we have a situation that is easy to see. Because what we want to do, we want to get rid of the square root. So now, this is going to get rid of the square root, but there's a 3 there. The 3 squared turns to a 9. And you are going to have an x minus 1. The square root is gone. So on this side, we are having a 1 minus x, which is basically a 1 minus x and another 1 minus x. And then you multiply it throughout. So when you multiply this throughout, you are going to have 1 times 1, you are going to have 1, 1 times a negative x, you are going to have a negative x, negative x times 1, negative x, which is basically on this negative x minus negative x is going to be a negative x, negative 2x. And then you have a negative x times a negative x, that is a positive x squared. Now, on this side of the equal sign, 9 times x is going to be 9x, nine, 9 times negative 1, you are going to have a negative 9. You see? So, now it's simple now to see. Now, on this side, we take these two terms, we take them to the other side of the equal sign, we are going to be left with 0 because we want to group like terms together so we can subtract or add. Now, the negative, the 9x on the other side of the equal sign is going to change the sign. It's going to be a negative 9. Basically, it's going to be negative 2x. Let us put them together first before we do anything. We are going to be left with 0 on this side of the equal sign. We are going to be having 1, negative 2x plus x squared, a negative 9x, and a positive 9. Because the 9 is negative on this side of the equal sign. When it gets to the other side of the equal sign, it gets positive. So, now, like terms, 1 and 9 is 10. You are going to have 0 is equal to 10. Negative 2 minus negative 9, you are going to have a negative 11x. And a positive x squared. Now, here is our equation. It's right there. So, we look for what we say and we factorize the equation the trinomial we are having an x squared 11 x and a 10 so x and x we split the x squared so we look for like terms whatever number when you multiply them they must give you a 10 but when you add or subtract them they must give you a negative 11 so in this case we are having a 10 and a 1 because 10 times 1 is 10. When you add or subtract, you get a negative 11. If you make the 10 take the sign of the middle term, negative 10 and the plus 1. So, therefore, therefore, your x is equal to negative, negative 1 or your x is equal to positive 10. So, this is how we go about this kind of a question. So, that's all for me, Mr. M. Have a wonderful day and a great evening. God bless you. Bye-bye.